And at the top of the hour, Russia has announced the visit of External Affairs Minister S. Jayashankar to Moscow on the 8th of November to meet his counterpart, uh, Sergei Lavrov. They will discuss uh, bilateral ties as well as international developments. Now, this is a visit that is coming in at an extremely crucial time. Joining us with the very latest, Mahas NGTV's Maha Siddiqui. Maha, what more can you tell us? Uh, this is uh, certainly a very significant visit. Now, we understand that the External Affairs Minister will be traveling to Moscow. And this has been announced by the Russian Foreign Ministry now that this visit will take place on the 8th of November. Uh, now, usually any such uh, visit, especially around this time, is seen as uh, an exercise uh, that is meant to uh, pave the way for the possibility of the leaders meeting. Remember, uh, Rishika, India and Russia have an annual uh, summit uh, this year, that summit is supposed to be held in Moscow, for which uh, the PM would be traveling. But as of now, we do not know whether that summit is going to take place or not. Uh, but many are viewing this uh, visit by S.J. Shankar in that context, so there is no clarity on the, any future visit by the PM at the moment. Uh, but uh, clearly what the Russian Foreign Ministry is saying, that during this uh, visit of uh, the External Affairs Minister, uh, the discussion will take place uh, on not just bilateral issues, but the international situation currently. And we know that the ongoing uh, uh, war between Russia and Ukraine has, uh, in fact, only gone up uh, a over the last uh, couple of weeks when we have seen how it is not limited to the war front now and uh, going beyond that, targeting civilians as well. Uh, moreover, the nuclear rhetoric that has gone up is also uh, something that is worrying everyone, including India, uh, which only yesterday, uh, Rajnath Singh, in his conversation with his Russian counterpart, has said that neither side should resort to the nuclear option. So under these 10 circumstances, we will be seeing the visit of S.J. Shankar to Moscow on the 8th of November. Right. Uh, Maha, like I said, the timing of this visit is extremely interesting. It's coming in at a time when Russia is holding nuclear drills. Uh, there was a ballistic missile that was launched. Uh, you know, President Putin has been overseeing those nuclear drills. In fact, we're expecting that he's going to be uh, making that address in a short while from now. Uh, you know, India's position uh, from being, uh, you know, neutral uh, has been now, uh, you know, one of caution in a certain sense with the defense minister, like you said. Uh, you know, having that uh, telephonic conversation with the defense minister of Russia, uh, you know, discussing bilateral defense cooperation, of course, as well as a deteriorating situation. And, uh, you know, India at the moment raising that uh, uh, red flag over the possibility of provocations um, and the use of any kind of uh, nuclear weapon. And, you know, India has come out and reiterated the position that, you know, uh, the path of dialogue and diplomacy needs to be pursued and uh, try and sort of, you know, step in here and dissuade Russia from doing anything of that sort. So it's going to be really interesting to see what line India takes at this meeting. Absolutely, because uh, India, though, has uh, even to the Russian side made it amply clear that uh, when it comes to any civilian casualties, then uh, it is a no-go zone. Because remember, the killings in Bucha uh, were condemned by India at uh, the United Nations Security Council. That was the first condemnation that had come from India uh, after uh, uh, after several rounds where India had maintained a neutral stand on the uh, Ukraine invasion by Russia. Uh, so certainly as far as civilian casualties are concerned or uh, the fact that uh, the world is facing an energy crisis, a food crisis, India has spoken out and been vocal about those issues. So those issues certainly will also come up for discussion. The timing is interesting for another reason because this is the time around November, December is when we are likely to see the G7 uh, put in place the price capping on Russian oil. Uh, so any conversation around energy security would also certainly be significant when the mm. external affairs minister visits Moscow because India has been buying discounted oil from Russia. Uh, India has got discounted oil in the first uh, uh, half uh, for almost 30% discount is what India was getting. Uh, the amount of oil offtake from Russia had also grown. It had dipped so over the last two months uh, as uh, we were told by officials but uh, in the last one month again it's picked up. So uh, yes, these are certain very important discussions that will take place.